Hey guys, Griff the Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a new tool for PixInsight, which if you use PixInsight, surely you've already heard of. Uh, it is Blur Exterminator by RC Astro. This is a paying tool and it's not cheap either. Um, but it is fairly amazing uh, because it really automates deconvolution in, in a way that is really amazing and much better than the method that I've previously been using, which was the easy deconvolution part of the easy processing suite. It just works without issues. The uh, effects are dramatic on stars and also on details of nebulosity. It's a, it's a little, it's a, an amazing tool. And I'm going to give you uh, a couple of examples. Okay, so here's a, an image in um, HOOR, like, it was an L Extreme filter, or no, MBZ filter of M42. And uh, this is the original image. It's really not bad at all. We can see all of the nebulosity, etc., etc. This is with Hyperstar, so the stars are not perfect, but that's fine. And this is prior to using Blur Exterminator. Let's use, let's, uh, use Blur Exterminator, so I've already done it. And I'm going to click there and immediately before, after, before, after, let's look at the stars here in the corner. Uh, before, after, you can see the stars have been reduced dramatically. The chromatic aberration that was visible on the stars is, is also much reduced. And not only that, if we go into details of the, uh, of the nebula itself, so if we look at those details here, before, after, before, after, I will not get tired of this, guys. Zoom one more. Before, after. <laughs> Sorry, this is, it's amazing. It really is a game changer and it is not inventing new details as far as I understand it. It's really performing a deconvolution, a mathematical operation. And it's, it's, it's almost like pure magic it's absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know, it's like, it's really a game changer for PixInsight and it is not cheap, but it is uh, highly recommended. So I, I really highly recommend it. So we've looked at uh, M42. Let's have a look at M33, so a galaxy. So we'll have the same type of uh, changes. I'm going to go to the before first and you can see that I have two images because I've processed them with Blur Exterminator slightly differently. So let me open up the tool. Here it is. And you can see that we have um, several parameters in there. Currently I'm using the trial license but I'm definitely buying it. Um, and I you can, you can play with the parameters there for the star adjustments, which work uh, quite well. You can leave the, autom the PSF, which is the function, the point spread function uh, that is used for the deblurring um, in automatic, that works really well, or you can set the PSF diameter yourself. And uh, to do so, and doing so does provide somewhat better results, I am going to show you on the left we have an image uh, where I have the uh, Blur Exterminator process with the automatic PSF. And on the right, we have the one with the PSF diameter set specifically by, by me. So let's have a look at how this, uh, how this uh, comes out. So on the left hand side, this is the before. I am going to go into like some uh, galaxy details. Here we are and after. So obviously we, we get the same kind of, of crazy results like before and after. Look at the details in this nebula here. Look at the star shapes. Look at the details in the galaxy arms before, after the blur. It's really much better already. But what about we look at uh, the uh, roughly the same area uh, with the same more or less zoom on the other uh, image and we're going to do the after and you can see that this image there on the right has had blur exterminator uh, applied on it but with the manual setting of the uh, PSF diameter and doesn't it look sharper than this one 
And the answer is yes, this was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Uh, it is, it does look sharper. It's not as big of a difference as the before and after directly, uh, but it is better. And so how do you uh, accomplish that? Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. I'm going to go back to the before uh, image is you want to use a script uh, under image analysis called uh, F, uh, FWHM eccentricity. And you cannot use it on a, a color image. So the first thing, if you have a color image, is you want to take the luminance. So we're just going to click there, take the, uh, the luminance. So you can see I have the luminance as a monochrome image. I can go inside my uh, script, image analysis, and FWHM um, eccentricity. Click measure, which will measure on the latest uh, image selected. And you can see that my... FWHM is 2.45 uh, pixels. Uh, it's up to two decimals. And so I would plug that in, and this is what I did for the, the image on the right. In Blur Exterminator, uh, you put two points, what was it, 45? I don't remember, but you put the same fig figure that we had in the previous image, and then you can compare it to the automatic uh, PSF. But this process is amazing. It's a game changer together with Noise Exterminator, which is also amazing. And then uh, Star Exterminator, which I see as less of, as a, of a revolution because we do have um, the, uh, the Starnet alternative, but Noise Exterminator, which I bought from RC Astro, and, um, and this Blur Exterminator, which I will buy from RC Astro, are both absolutely amazing. I will put the link to Blur Exterminator in the description down below so you can have a look. There is a free trial that lasts for 30 days and the price of purchase is $100 or if you already own something like Noise Exterminator, which is my case, $90. Should you buy this if you have PixInsight? Hell yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Again, this is... I know it hurts a lot of us to buy, to, to pay such high amounts for software, and PixInsight is expensive in the first place, but wow, what a game changer. It, it, is, it is amazing. Uh, by the way, uh, both of those images, something very important, are in the linear state. Ideally, you want to run Blur Exterminator as early as possible. So you do like background extraction, whether it's automatic or uh, dynamic, and then immediately Blur Exterminator. It will work. Actually, I've tested it on non-linear images, on stretch images, including on final images, and it actually works pretty well, just not as well as if you had run it on uh, on linear images. But if you're super lazy like I am and you don't feel like reprocessing your images from scratch with Blur Exterminator, just try to apply it on the final image. See what difference it makes. Eh, you, <laughs> you can't lose anything by doing so. Um, but yeah, that's really, I, I know everyone and their mother and their grandmother and their cousins first and second to twice removed on their whatever side. Uh, everyone has heard about Blur Exterminator by now and I'm late to the party, but I, it's really an amazing tool and I just wanted to make you aware of this. I have no relationship whatsoever with RC Astro and uh, I will be paying with my own money to get this, uh, this module, uh, but amazing game changer and uh, yeah get it honestly uh, with that you know that's all i wanted to say for this uh, this video so thank you so much for watching um as always if you have any comments or if you're new to the channel feel free to go down below click that subscribe bell icon like button leave a comment etc and more important than all of that don't forget whatever you can to look up at the stars and i'll see you next time